Hi, my name is Gotze from MP3 Car, and today we're going to talk about the Kinetics DC powered 4 port USB hub. It's a 4 port USB hub that's uh, powered from uh, a vehicle battery. It can take voltage from 7 up to 32 volts, which means you can power it either in a 12 volt or a 24 volt electrical environment. Um, here in the back of the hub, um, there's the label and there's two there's an LED to the left of the label which lights up whenever the hub detects power on from the power molex connector which means it's connected to your battery and the four port power molex connector is a snap-in molex connector which means that it's not going to get loose um, very easily whenever uh, the hub um, flops around in your trunk. Uh, the label describes what the four wires on the Molex connector do. Um, on the front of the hub there's the upstream um, USB connection. This is where you connect your hub to your PC and the four uh, downstream ports that connect your devices to your uh, hub. Um, so the hub, like I said, is a 7 to 32 volt range uh, uh, power input device and it has a transient voltage protection um, as, well, as well as a reverse polarity protection which means that you, um, if uh, it detects voltage spikes and smothers them before they damage your devices, and it also protects your devices if just um, in case something shorts out and um, you get a voltage spike. Um, some of the quick other features for the hub, it guarantees 500 milliamps per port. Um, it has an internal DC to DC um, uh, power module, so it will guarantee 500 milliamps per port for your device. So if you have any power hungry devices connecting to your hub, as some of the PCs these days get smaller and smaller with less and less USB ports. Um, it also has self resetting fuse on each individual port, which means that if you overload one of the ports, it won't shut down the whole hub, it will just uh, shut down that circuit the port and that means your uh, the rest of your devices will uh, keep on going. One more thing before we do the demo. Um, the P5 USB hub has a, a, a fairly sophisticated startup and shutdown controller. So there's uh, two ways that the hub will um, turn itself on and then turn itself off. Um, so one of the ways is with your ignition. So you can have the hub start and shut down with your ignitions. Uh, you, can ha you can also have the hub turn on and off with uh, the 5 volt that goes through your uh, USB bus. Which means that this hub can uh, sense when your USB bus on your PC gets power and it senses when your USB bus um, um, loses power. Which means it can pretty much turn on and off with your PC. Um, there's also um, a, a shutdown delay timer that's tied to uh, the ignition part of your USB hub. Um, that means that if your hub is configured to start up a shutdown with your ignition, you can have an off delay timer of uh, medium, which is 5 minutes, and long, which is 25 minutes. And this is just in cases where if you stop at a gas station for 5 minutes to load gas and you don't want your GPS puck to lose um, track of the GPS satellites, you can leave um, the hub on medium and long range uh, shutdown timer, which means it won't shut off your puck, and uh, that way when you start up your car, your navigation system won't take a minute or two to locate satellites again to pick up where you left off. So if we focus on the setup, um, I have a P2140 here powering a uh, Mac Mini, and the P5 USB is connected to uh, the Mac Mini. I have, um, I have a keyboard and a USB thumbstick connected to uh, the hub and the hub is powered from a bench battery that's outputting voltage at 13.8 volts. Initially, uh, the first test that we're going to do is uh, the P5 USB hub is set up uh, to start up and shut down with um, the ignition. So that means every time the Mac Mini uh, boots up and it powers the USB bus, the P5 USB hub is going to power up and every time it um, shuts down and shuts down the USB bus, uh, the P5 USB hub is going to turn itself off. Uh, before uh, we fired, fired it up, um, I want to explain what the wiring does uh, really quick on the hub's uh, Molex connector. So the red one is your constant, so it connects to uh, the constant positive on your uh, battery. 
the black one is your ground it connects to the negative of your battery the yellow one is the um, accessory or ignition wire and it connects to an accessory um, wire in your vehicle and the blue one is not used for anything so just uh, either cap it off or uh, cut it off okay so on to the demo um, like I said the hub is wired for a USB startup so I'm just gonna power up the Mac mini and uh, once the Mac mini I press the power button uh, the power LED on the hub uh, lights on so the hub is getting initial power from the battery and then as you see uh, there's an LED light next to each port that means um, each port is getting power and then each port is being enumerated by your uh, Mac or PC um, so all four LEDs are lit up so all four LEDs are okay if any of those LEDs go out that means um, uh, the device or the, the circuit uh, got either o overloaded or short circuited and that circuit is off so you'll just need to uh, restart your hub at some point later down the road okay so um, Mac OS X is up um, it recognized the keyboard and um, the thumbstick so what I'm gonna do now is just shut down the Mac and then whenever you see and during the shutdown process you'll see as it's shutting down um, the hub also is off and the Mac mini is off so that means that all of your devices shut down when your USB bus shut down which means that they were still enumerated so if you go into hibernate you don't lose um, uh, enumeration and then whenever your operating system starts up it doesn't have to re-enumerate your devices which causes a whole bunch of trouble. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to re reconfigure the P5 USB to start up and shut down with your ignition and we're also going to set the shutdown timer for five minutes which means once you turn your ignition to off the hub is going to wait about five minutes to uh, turn off power to all the devices. Okay. So I turn off uh, I disconnected my uh, ACC uh, wire which means my car is off um, I'm gonna relocate JP1 from the top two uh, pins to the bottom two pins where it says IGN and I'm also gonna relocate JP2 from the top pins to the bottom two pins which is a medium length uh, shutdown timer so um, I'm going to turn on the Mac Mini and I'm going to turn my car on. So all the LEDs next to the USB ports are lit up which means all your devices are getting power. Uh, Mac OS X is up. I'm going to configure it really quick to Um, sleep when the P2140 tells it to sleep so all I have to do is check the uh, box to allow the power button to sleep my computer and then what I'm gonna do is pretty much just turn my car off so I'll flip my ignition to off disconnect the ACC wire and while the Mac is going to sleep which it just did the P2140 is still supplying power there and as you can see um, the LED ports are still lit up which means your devices are still getting power so right now you're at the gas station your uh, GPS antenna is plugged in it's still keeping track of um, uh, satellites and you're pumping gas and LED ports are still lit so uh, in about five minutes or so they're gonna turn off and once you turn your car back on there um, the hub is going to turn itself on before the PC starts booting so that means everything's going to be uh, peachy. Uh, that's a little demo on the P5 USB hub um, several testers that are testing it right now and of course if you would like uh, something more demoed or you would like suggest to suggest new features